Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. We just had a great war with uh, Ayutthaya over here and managed to grab two forts and several provinces of high development regions. Uh, well, at least mediocre development regions. We took this one, 16, 9, and we took a 13, and we also took an, uh, a 14, and we gave it to our, our march over here, La Lana Na. Now, right here, what we're going to do is... Well, we don't have any regiments to consolidate. Got a lot of mercs in here now, though. Our armies have uh, taken a beating, as it were. I am not afraid to drive myself into pretty colossal debt to fuck over my enemies. And what's nice is that I'm, I'm starting to get provincial trade power in Siam. Uh, well, I have to core the stuff first before it'll pop up in here, but... Oh, no. Well, our 233 just came to power. Uh, that's not a, That was not good timing. <laughs> All that stuff that popped in. Lana. Vicious words. Local taunt. Let's see. Where's our karma sit? Zero. So... Knock out that autonomy. Sounds good. You love me, you hate me, you tolerate me. Alright, well, there we go. And then over... Well, actually, let's go down to Malacca. Make sure that they, they should love me. One, two, six. So, guy's an idiot, except for when it comes to military affairs. Blow. Nice. Are we still taking... Overextend? No, we're not taking anything from, from anywhere else, uh, from this right here. So we're seven, eight, nine now. I'll make core. There we go. Good. Let's see what is our trade power here. Sixty-one percent. Nice. Uh, I'm I'm happy about that. We need to. I I know the stability sucks, but I kind of got to get that coring finished, or there, otherwise we're gonna have oodles of problems. Oh, Malacca. Pirates. Oh, I just, I just remembered we lost 13 ships. It's hundreds of ducats worth of uh, of units there. Let's detach mercenaries and let's see what we're working with here. We got too many in here. Let's keep this. We'll take this. We're going to disband it. These guys will keep uh, augment our regular military with some mercs. That'll help this out. Oh, right now, the um, economy's getting kind of messed up because of... Oh, we can actually get that up a little bit. Over of corruption because of overextension. It's going to take a while to recoup, just like always, but we'll deal with it as it, as it creeps up. We'll deal with it. Protect trade. Maka. And look at look at all the rebel factions. Separatists from everywhere. Border tensions. Well, I feel really good about that because their their power base has been has been extremely eroded. They are in a much weaker state now than they ever were before. I'll take that down because we can't afford it. Well, that'll save us. That should save us three ducats, right? Yeah, three ducats right there. And what is our looming disaster? Eternal conflicts, peasant war, human sacrifice. Karma, lose ducats. Uh, well, I don't want the unrest right now, so... We'll take that. Or that. Good. Done and done. And now we're just gonna wait on this. And all of our admin points are precious. Very, very much so. Gain karma. Monthly autonomy. Development cost. Let's do monthly economy. There we go. Take that. Pegu noble rebels. What are these people so pissy about? Because the nobles control it? 
Controlled by nobility. Well, war exhaustion right now is the biggest problem. Also, we're a negative. What do we need? Uh, 112. 112 is what we need. We only took three pro- well, we took four. We have one to our march. I'm a little surprised that A, Ming has stayed together, and B, they haven't attacked anybody. Japan is pretty hideous. It's split between Hatakayama and Japan. It looks like neither side is interested in ending the, the stalemate. 28,000 in the bank. I like the sound of that. Oh, we can boost. Boost that. High legitimacy, good. Overextension and war exhaustion is the only thing we have uh, that's problematic at the moment. And both of those are going to be fixed on their own with just a little bit of waiting. Just the slightest bit of waiting. Because this one right here is 80% done. The rest are great advisor has died. Damn it. Trade efficiency. Yeah. Looming disaster. So we got internal conflicts. Unrest. Uh, one of the following must be true. Unrest lower than zero. And we got this one. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster. Manpower at 50%. Ooh. These go pretty, these, these go pretty quickly, too. Gain karma. Lose prestige. I don't want to lose legitimacy right now. Gain inflation. I can deal with that. Uh, let's reduce our war exhaustion. I hate spending points like that, but we need to get the unrest under control before we actually have a uh, civil war to deal with. I mean, that, that goes real fast. Does not take long at all before it turns into a full-blown disaster. It looks like we got this under control now. Uh, the overextension is going to stop, start popping off. Pretty soon. And then, then we'll be good. Wow, they still got 21,000 in the field. And boom. That knocked off, what, 13%? That must have been increased pensions. I'm not going to take a stability hit. That's insane. I think we need a, a good period of peace. Is what is in store right now. Wow. Well, that just came out of nowhere. Boop, 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 boop. That one and that one. It was fine, and then it just skyrocketed. Or maybe it wasn't fine, and I wasn't paying attention. So that one, which one? The one I'm sitting on is the one with the unrest right now. Almost done coring. And then that, once these finish coring, then I should be under... One, uh, you know, under zero, under under neutral. Do, do, do. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster, unrest lower than eight. Can be stopped by, well, unrest is lower than zero. Oh, it popped off. Manpower levels at 50%. So I need to get manpower up to 50%. Which is about 15,000. Ugh. That could be problematic. Yep, we're gonna do that. Right, let's take a look at our trade power down here now. Brunei, Malacca, Bruna. But I don't have any? Where's my trade power? Oh, you know what? No, autonomy's fine. We should have trade power. A 4-3-0. Interesting. Not, not terrible. Could be worse. Rolling pretty average. I, I mean, I've been rolling, you know, j just on the positive slash negative side of average. Nothing terrible. Let's see, military... 
Let's crank that slider up now. That'll help with the unrest here. Down to three. Should be good now. So we need to get up to about, yeah, 15,000, and we should be fine. As long as we can get there before a peasant war, we're fine. We're, then we're, then we're, we're golden. Repay that loan. I think... I don't know. It's kind of iffy. There's nothing really you can do other than... Wait. So we've got... 36 months. Fort maintenance, fort defense. Morale of armies. Tea imports. Mercantilism, national unrest slash advisor cost. Well... National unrest is nice, but mercantilism lasts forever. Reinforced speed. Land attrition. Okay, good. Alright, 2.2. .2. So there's a pretty low chance of them actually hitting. Seems to be decaying out much quicker than... Well, a little bit quicker. Not much quicker. A little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. Man, I'm, I am glad I decided to ally these guys because they kind of went on a little rampage. Well, a little with a little bit of my help, but mostly their own. Mostly their own help. I didn't do much. All right, so do we not... Why don't I have trade power down here? Oh, it's right there. Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah, I was looking up here, and we're transferring it now. That's why I didn't see it. And here, Pegu is transferring it up. All right. Trade power. Once we repay our loan, we can rebuild our navy, which we stupidly lost. Thirteen freaking light ships. I, I you know, and it was it was such a stupid thing to do too. I was, you know, I was even talking about like, do these guys go back on their own, or should I just tell them to go back now? Should have told them to go back. I didn't. Twenty. Oof. Can't afford that. Well, it looks like we have to give them more authority. We're almost at half on manpower. Bountiful Harvest, Ducats, or Karma. We're at zero. Let's take the Ducats. Repay that loan. Border Friction. Oh, now, now they want my provinces. How does that Viet feel about me? Ming doesn't like me anymore, probably because of aggressive expansion. Just in case. You know, I always forget about these guys. I keep rem uh, in intending to attempt to annex them. Does that say La Na No, La these guys down here. Did they join in a war that far away? Well, then my experience says yes. So after we get at least 50% manpower, then we could start working on getting our military back up to snuff. Uh, we lost a lot of men, uh, consolidated our regiments down, so we have to rebuild them. Well, let's take a look at what they're working with now. Yeah, that's it. That's their whole army now. I think we got them permanently on the ropes. I was intending to get more Beng uh, Bengalis. Bengali? Bengali sounds better. Bengali sounds right. Uh, Bengali territory, but that goddamn web of alliances they have. It's not just them. It's going to war with five separate people. How many favors do you owe me now? I bet it's a lot. 37 favors. Prepare for war. Increase trust. And trust is pretty good. I got one loan, right? Repay that. Repay the loan early. Might as well. I mean, it's better than sitting on it forever. Okay, the peasant war is gone. As much as I'd like to reduce my inflation, uh, what I need to do is save up those points and 
crawl <laughs> and start crawling back into a technological uh, powerhouse where where I was before. Not anymore. Colonial range. So this is gonna get me caravels. So that's gonna increase trade power uh, from my light ships. Give me courthouse. I don't think I've ever built a courthouse. I don't know if I've ever done that. It's just, you can get paying for unrest like that on a permanent basis. This doesn't seem like a great idea. <laughs> you guys can do all you want. Wow, really? They're going for Dolly? Interesting. No diplomats to send, but they still wouldn't do it because they don't trust me. I'm about to say, I'll do it, and I'll come to your aid. Or you could, you know, use your 1,000 men to fight these dudes. Good luck. Wow, ballsy. Seriously, ballsy. They're just, they're going for it. So, okay, we got that going. Let's try to improve relations down. We've been kind of like faux allies. Whenever they go to war with Ayutthaya, I, I, I go to war with them too. Uh, we both slap the other one around. Well, we both slap him around. 7 is pretty good. Well, it could be it could be a lot higher, of course. Who do we lose? Admin. National tax modifier, inflation reduction. Easy pick there. Use that inflation reduction. Uh, in his lifetime, he'll probably eliminate this completely. Alright, and I think we can deal with this now. No corruption. Fort maintenance is not too bad. We do have a lot of them, but I, I find them necessary considering how much war we've had now that i'm actually a a regional powerhouse i feel pretty confident about maybe not building any well i haven't built a single one they've all been captured or built by other people let's see production meh what about taxes trade 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 one point that doesn't really seem worth it when I'm not I'm not exactly rolling in dough and I don't need to build any All right, I think we're we're good with construction for now shame our fleet keeps getting wrecked but that's my own fault so I got 12 ships down here somewhere or my fleets well, this one's up here. This one's down here. Let's do this. Waka. Send them all down there. That should auto-merge them together. King accused of favoritism. Boo. Minus 10. We'll take the plus 10. Productive trade in Malaka. Trade in Alaka. Okay, I guess they're both. I thought they auto merged together if you sent them to the same node. They have thought suffering, lose 50 diplo points. That was a unfortunate random event. See, I'm starting to get out teched militarily. I'm at nine, my uh, my vassal's at 11, but that's because I purposely held myself back for so long. Persia? Ooh. Persia. I don't know how often I've ever seen them form, actually. Looks like Mogadishu. Is that Mogadishu? Mogadishu got a little bigger. The Ottomans are eating up the Mamluks. They took out Hejah. Hez Hezjah it was over here. And everything's pretty stable over here. That Viet's getting eaten up finally. I really was planning on going this way earlier, but it's just easier to go down here. Okay, they, they did merge together. Business is booming. Trade efficiency. Okay, so we're at 53. 
It was we were up in the 60s before. We did take some ships out of here though. All right, why don't we do a splurge on ships? Five, six, seven, eight ships. Eight new light ships. Shame to have had to uh, rebuild them when I, no, I messed up before. Well, that'll bring us up to what twenty? That'll bring us up twenty, and then we can build thirteen more after that. We can work with that. We can work with that. Man, how do you get a hundred thousand sailors to take over half the planet? Probably. We still got. 300 years. We've only used one. And I mean, 110, 109 years. And that was from right here, and then up here, and then down here. If we take out Bengal in like one fell swoop, I think we'd be in a good position. Okay, we can get them to join us. So that's our next war. Uh, once, we, once we recoup fully, then we'll do that. 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12. So we're bringing in more infantry because we lost so much. Got to rebuild our army. Then we got to rebuild the, the manpower. Whoa! Speaking of which... Against Delhi. We haven't started Delhi as allied with Bengal. Um... See, that's the thing. The last time we were in a war, I didn't get jack shit out of it. I got nothing. I fought in the war and I got some favors, but that was it. And you're losing. Because where, where's your army going? Huh. Oh, well, let's ex... Can we separate piece out? We could. Let's accept it. Let's accept it. Our allies will go in there and help. I, didn't, I, I was planning on doing that anyway, but they kind of beat me to it. Um... Let's make sure our ships are safe. I wish they had let me know what the plan was. Bastards. I don't know where our armies are coming in at. Hmm. Or did they already come in? 12,000. 5,000, 6,000. Alright, let's get over here. Was this, what I would want to do is just bitch slap Bengal as best as possible. And then white pe and then peace out. Do a separate piece. Well, they should have... Oh, no, we can't do that because we gotta siege everything down. All this Bengali territory... I keep wanting to say Bengalese. There's no way that's right. I would like to take. Um, the thing is, is they're at war with Delhi. So I gotta take it as soon as I possibly can. Reinforce speed. Excellent year. Ooh, manpower. That was like a whole regiment. Raids through the jungle. And feared by all the uncanny ability to rapidly attack deep inside enemy territory. Cool. Ducats lose manpower, gain... We'll just gain the military power points. Well, we already took a, uh, a fort. Well, I feel a little bad. I mean, I've been sitting here and apparently have done nothing. Where are you going? Going around? He's going around. I think we just breached the walls. We did. This, this could work out well. I mean, it's working out well so far. I just want... Because I'll, I will I will separate piece out of this if I can. 
I just, I, yeah. They scare me because they might just end it. They could end it at any minute because that's what they did on me last time. Where'd my ally army go? That's their capital? No, that's not a capital. That's just a, a thingy. Gotta be around here. <clears throat> Accepted peace from Malwa. Okay, so they separate pieced out one person. I thought that they said. I thought they ended it just now. I thought they just. I thought they just ended the whole thing. Where am I? Was, was that them over there? I thought I just saw them for a sec. I think they're moving around. Attached to somebody else, maybe? So, like, right now, if I asked for a separate piece... They, they flat out say no. I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of this. So they don't even, they're not even gonna, willing to accept a white piece at this point. Seriously, where are my guys? Gotta be attached to somebody else's army moving around somewhere. Okay, we're stuck there. Alright, good. That's exactly what I wanted them to do, was leave. I'm a little worried of what this war is going to do for me, which I think is nothing. Except get more favors. I mean, it was, it's got to be a huge slap in the face if they tell me that if, uh, if, if, if they don't give me anything. Nope, oh, still nothing. They will not separate piece. They won't even accept a white piece at this point, even though they're getting spanked. Oh, walls breached. Nice. Whoa! Nope. Nope. This is what I was talking about before. Sorry, guys. Not fighting Ming. Will not be fighting Ming. Oh, so all the battles are being fought over here. They're my allies. What the shit are they doing over there? Sitting all the way up there doing nothing. Well, I'm sure they were sieging something down. Alright, we're up to 0%. Oh, God, you guys, be scared. Ming is, move <laughs> Ming is moving on you. Be scared. And they're two tech levels up on me, so there's no fun. I'm not fighting that battle. Not happening. Oh, look. <laughs> they're carpet sieging down, too. You should probably focus your, your, your forces, bud. Occupied by one poor. Oh, looks like they lost a battle. Ouch! You guys notice the disproportionate amount of negative events I've been hit having? Bad events and bad rolls. This game is trying to make my head explode. Alright, well. They'll accept they're 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 at the point where they will accept a white piece. Figure that offer. See, what I'm saying is, I want, I want stuff. They, they'll give me one. At this, the point we're at right now, they'll give me one province. Made peace with their former enemies. Let's. I guess we'll just take more territory. Look at those Ming armies just swarming. 
Oh, that is terrifying. I'm so glad I haven't been on the receiving end of... God! They gave me nothing! Son of a bitch! You are the worst ally ever! God damn it! Oh, they took the shit I wanted. They didn't give me anything, though. Well, all, what I could always do is turn this right around and declare war, but I have to re-siege down everything. What, I have a truce? Oh, I didn't see my name on there. Oh, no, it's in there. Truce with uh, Pegu right there. Sorry. I was about to say, I didn't start the war. No, but I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, everybody. With that son of a bitch wanna board, they, it's the second time they did that. They didn't give me anything in the war. What a douche ally. I wonder if that's an AI thing that I never noticed before. They won't give you concessions in a war. Because that, that kind of screwed me over. All right, let's get these guys out and about. Aw, oh, that sucked. I had all that territory siege down and nothing. They actually got some of the stuff I wanted. We're going to come to blows, you sons of bitches. All right, everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.